everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me today. Well, the Ace family is up to it again. They're talking about getting divorced, and maybe they are, but we're going to talk a little bit about how this is all one of the biggest scams ever, and some people are actually believing it. It is crazy what the depths these people will go for fame and money. Just stop watching these buttholes. Let's get to it. So if you, like the other day I was on Twitter, doom scrolling as I do, because I love to doom scroll, and um, Austin McBroom was trending. Now, when you see something like you're like, oh my gosh, like, holy cow, maybe he's going off the deep end. And these are some of the videos that were going, I guess, viral or whatever on Twitter. That's what she gets. Oh, no, thank you. That's what she gets for cutting me. Have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? Yeah, I am, bro. You're talking to your friends. Yeah. Yeah. I'm living in the RV. Is that a problem? I want you to show... Now, before we get to how fake all this is, like, this is what's going on. He's... So, apparently, he breaks up with Catherine. They're getting a divorce, which we... No one can see if it's true or not. I don't even know if they're really, truly married. After some cursor research, it sounds like they got married in 2017. Didn't tell anybody until 2020. Even that, I don't know, has ever been proven. I know that these records are public. I just don't know if anybody's ever gotten them. Now, could they be? Probably. I don't know. They have children, so it's very likely. Um, Are they divorcing now? I don't know. But I can tell you this. What he's doing is a big shill for views and likes and money because maybe they did break up or whatever. And maybe he's doing this all for attention, but this has all been done on purpose. Every single thing he's posting on the internet is all being done on purpose for you guys to watch. And here's how you can tell that this is fake because watch when the guy from CVS says you're living in an RV, watch his mouth. That's what she gets for cutting me. Have a blessed day. What? Aren't you living in an RV? See, aren't you like, and he, he mouths the words like he, like, like, like a CVS guy is going to be like, aren't you living in an RV? Aren't you a big loser? Like it's, it's given like Ferran from uh royalty family when they went to the mall and like, Hey, your dad's looking for you. And then they staged this whole thing. It was like the creepiest, cringiest thing ever. A couple more things he's doing here is apparently he's living with DDG Tyson. I don't know who DDG is. I think it's a hip hop artist that Tyson would know. Um, but I guess he's living at DDG's house. Is he though? Don't forget that Austin and Catherine are literal multi-millionaires. Now, yes, they're probably going to claim bankruptcy. They're probably trying to hide their money. They, they've they spent a lot of their money, but they have money. And he still has millions and millions of followers and still gets millions of views. So they have money. They're just not as wealthy as they once were. And either Austin is going off the deep end, which that happened a long time ago anyway, and he's using, and he's using this fall for attention, or he just really is just crazy. But imagine being a millionaire and being a famous person who's married to uh, this. He's married to that girl who played in um, in Little Mermaid, Haley Berry. Um, they're apparently he's living at their house, and so this DDG is just a big part of this. He says trying to, he's regretting letting Austin McBroom move in with him. Hey Google, turn it all the way down. Yeah, the baby's sleep, bro. Awesome. Nah, I'm good. Sure. He's making Mr. Noodles, right? Or I guess you call it ramen. And like everything that you see is all done for the camera for for fake. Like he's like, check out my RV house tour, and the thing is like brand new. It's probably worth over a hundred thousand dollars more than most people could ever afford in their life. And they're supposed to be able to feel sorry. If this guy apparently is living outside of her house, and then he got evicted from the street. Everything that he is showing you guys is fake. And there are so many people on the snark threads and stuff. Like, do you think this is real? Oh man, I can't believe he's doing this. You guys are being had. You're being taken. And you're just being sucked in hook, line, and sinker, and you're giving him everything he wants. These people don't deserve it. They don't deserve your views. They are child exploiting buttholes who have done nothing but exploit and hurt people to get to where they were. Their entire lives, including his brother, his brother's wife, their children, and everything else. 
the amount of things that they've done, the amount of scams that they've done to their own fans who've given them the platform that they have is astronomical. And people are just feeding into this. He hires people to do this for him. They're like, well, we got we to gotta rebrand. You got to be a bad boy now or whatever the case may be. He says he's applying for a job at CVS because he didn't get the house he wanted or something. That's ridiculous. Okay. These people could have bought houses cash and lived normal lives, but decided instead to lease $300,000 vehicles, like multiple, like five of them at a time, live in a $10 million mansion and live in a marriage that was fake. They did it for a business. They were not together. He has been cheating on her for like five years since they got me. Probably never been faithful to her. Has she been faithful to him? Probably not. Don't forget, Catherine's real name is not even Catherine. She's from Montreal. And she was an escort, like a high-end escort. She's literally a hooker. These are the these are the people raising children and putting them on the internet and like making fame off being good parents. They've never been good parents. They've never once done anything good for their children. Instead, they've only ever brought nasty and dirty attention to their lives and put and made themselves targets every single time. And their kids are going to suffer, suffer for it and have nothing to show for it when they grow out of this. When these kids get older, they are going to hate these. Can you imagine the type of kids that these two people are raising? Those kids aren't going to be normal. They're going to be just like them. That's the grossest thing. So this DDG guy is playing this. He's faking it. Yeah, he's lying. He's just he's just lying. All he does is lie. So yeah, you go to you go to things like you go to the Ace Family Snark page. Like, do you guys think the divorce is real? I don't think that they've been in a relationship for years. Like, plus there's nothing been filed. Um, again, they probably owe debtors a lot of money, millions and millions and millions. Probably owe the IRS millions of dollars. They probably were bad with their money all the way through this whole thing. Oh, this is crooked. Can't do that. And someone says, I've tried to check. I've been trying to check if the divorce was filed via court already, but haven't had any luck finding it. LOL. Never been a fan, but I'm nosy. See, these people, it's crazy when most of your watches come from people who absolutely hate you. Like your entire life is like, how can we piss off the Internet today and make money doing it? And to some people, that's worth it. They don't really give a crap, right? Would you be a villain on the Internet if you knew it was going to pay you millions of dollars a year? Would you be a villain? Could you do it? It depends what kind of villain, I guess. I'm a villain to family vloggers, so I guess I could do it. The Ace family faked a house break-in. Pretty sure they'd fake a divorce so they can get back together and scam again. So my gut is honestly telling me that they're not divorced if they are indeed even married and that this is a big ruse to get the views and everything else up again. Um, But, and maybe, and it is temporarily working. It absolutely is temporarily working. But in the end, I think it's going to be like, if they, if, if the fans have been duped again, then I guess you deserve each other. Cause these fans have been duped so many times in so many ways. Remember when they had the ACE family like fest, who in their right mind would do an ACE fest and who would go to it? Deaf Noodles, we remember Deaf Noodles went to that thing, it was just a big gong show. There was a lineup for hours to meet these people? Why do you want to meet these people? If I saw him in public, I would just be like, oh my gosh, roll my eyes and walk by. He's a loser, everybody. He's a loser. And the only way they got to where they were was by exploiting children. Are you crazy? For Why are you believing this stuff? Here's a video posted today on Snapchat. I didn't even have an open Snapchat in 100 years. And I, I don't even really know how to navigate it, but I downloaded this, which is great. So here's his Snapchat. Good morning, Snapchat fam. Good morning, everybody. And he's still doing that. Gang, 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 family. Like he knows that he's a joke. Not only because he's wearing a hat made of cotton candy and a, and a coat that's probably worth five thousand dollars. He's he's literally laughing all the way to the bank, and everybody's following along with this. And I know even doing this video, I hate that I have to do a video like this, but I'm covering it because he's a family exploiter. Right? And I'm begging you to stop watching it. I'm begging you to stop giving this guy attention. But in the end, at the same time, I realized that this is probably, you know, Ace Family circling down the toilet drain, which is a good sign. So, I mean, I guess it comes with the territory. When you're flailing, you're fighting for every last morsel and every last penny that you can get before you fall apart. These people will never leave the internet. 
I mean, that's just the reality of the internet and how many stupid people follow them. There are just so many dumb people who believe this garbage. But look at this. He's trying to tell he's everybody's going to the bus stop. I'm having an amazing morning. I'm having an amazing morning, as always. I'm currently walking to the bus stop for Big Z. Literally has to hire a friend to hang out. You think this guy's poor? He hires his friends to hang out with him. Does Big Z not have a real job? No, his real job is to be friends with this douchebag. Literally pays people. Like, I, the whole world of, like, hip-hop and everything else, and these worlds of, like, famous, they have to pay their friends to hang out with them. And I'm going to be honest. As you guys know, I've been trying to get a job, and I'm trying to save. Because when they call me for the house that I really, really want... So, trying to save by getting a job at CVS from previously being a multimillionaire. See, why, again, why would people believe this stuff? How dumb are some, like, I cannot believe it. I want to be ready. And as you guys know, the bigger car you have, the more gas you got to put in, put in. And I got a big car for all my kids. But the gas bill, it'd be like $150 to fill up your gas tank. Imagine doing that. And Did you not, see, this is why it's so fake. And you guys, I can't, like, it, it cringes me at how fake this is because, it's he he's telling you how fake he is like he doesn't know how much cost Philip his tank of his, of his SUV or his, I guess his RV I guess I don't know what he's driving the RV's fake guys it's fake everybody it's fake okay I don't even want to have to say that but it's fake this guy doesn't know how much a tank of gas costs and he's like oh yeah it's like 300 bucks a month to live like he's like now I'm down here with you plebs like oh I can't believe it's like and there are comments that are like oh yeah I know right look how expensive it is to live come on man so he's gonna take the bus where to the library where's he going Filming this on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. Why do people watch this stuff? Every single week, it's like a couple hundred dollars a month on gas. It's ridiculous. So the smartest thing to do is to take the bus in the meantime. To where? So I'm gonna take the bus. I got a lot of things planned for today. I gotta go places. Got a lot of shit to do today. So this guy has never taken the bus in his entire life. Okay, so be real. Every two weeks, it's like. And if you don't realize what he's doing here too. He's like flexing his class privilege and he's making fun of people who actually have to take the bus. Like, I know that he is a douchebag to like, he is the highest order of douchebag. I understand that. But he also, like, there are people who, he makes more money in one day than some people make in a year. Okay. And he just makes fun of these people. And like, people continue to watch it. I, I, you deserve it though. If you believe this douchebag, you deserve it. You deserve everything coming your way. A couple hundred dollars a month on gas. It's ridiculous. So, the smartest thing to do is to take the bus in the meantime. So I'm gonna take the bus. I got a lot of things planned for today. No, you don't. I gotta go places. No, you don't. I got a lot of shit to do today. No, you don't. Some exciting stuff you guys gotta stay tuned for. So we're See? almost there. There it is. Two weeks, it's like a couple things planned for it. You gotta stay tuned for, he says. You gotta stay tuned for. Cause you know, so you got, look at that many 7.2 million subscribers on Snapchat alone. Look at this hat. Who would follow a guy that wears this hat? Hey. I gotta go places. Got a lot of shit to do today. We're getting close. Yeah, like a block, two blocks. Guys, he is exhausted. Been walking for about a mile, mile and a half. He's about ready to give up. It's like one more I block, man. Back. Come on, we're almost there. <clears throat> uh, come on, come on, let's go. Keep going. Have you ever heard of a sidewalk? We're almost there, man. I am picking you up this time. Let's go. All right, guys. We're almost there. Like, this guy, for shame, this guy. Like, you realize, he's, ugh, whatever. You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve it if you're friends with Austin. Awesome who the heck would be friends with someone like this? People who get paid, that's it. To me, I don't know if we can do this every day, people. No. Okay. No? No, but I see it. We're getting close. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Perfect. Imagine looking at your window, these two grown adults walking down the street, one filming himself wearing a cotton candy hat. It looks like Willy Wonka's nipple. It looks like Willy Wonka's third cousin. Like, I don't... Again, he's laughing all the way to the bank, guys, and you guys are giving it to him. Guys, today's going to be such a good day, man. The sun is out. Woo! So excited for today, guys. All right, guys, we're almost there. All right, guys. We're literally right on the corner of the bus stop. Until we get there, I want to talk to you guys a little bit. Let you guys have a minute. Say, guys, one more time. Any questions? And one of the main questions is, how have I been going out lately? And has Kathy been going out? No one gives a shit what you do. 
Imagine. Well, that's a lie. I mean, people, they they do watch it. And for whatever reason, him faking all the stuff, like sleeping with um, little people and stuff, he's got a li- he's making fun of like little people. He hired a little person to come into his RV. I'll show you the picture in a minute to like pretend he's sleeping with little people. Like you can't make the stuff up that he's doing, everybody, and he's just getting away with it. it. <laughs> the internet, man. You guys know I'm really just locked in, focused right now, focused on my mind, my body, and my spirit, and that's what's most. I'm focused on your ugly hat. Important to me right now. I'm not really focused on anything else, and it's been working. It's really been working. He's it's- right. It has been working. Whatever this they came up with to do all this craziness, and because he's got famous people to help him out with, like, and shame on you, D and D or whatever that guy's name is, Dungeons and Dragons for hip hop artist guy. Shame on you for being a part of this, and shame on you, Holly Berry, for like letting your husband do that stuff. Like, shame on you guys. This is like one of the lowest forms of life on earth. Who admittedly and has been caught out multiple times cheating on his wife millions of times. Like, is the lowest form of asshole that exists. He's scammed so many people of millions of dollars. He's a scam artist loser. And just shame on you for being a part of that. You're, like, I hope his kids one day wake up and they can, can thank you. Thanks for platforming this. Thanks for being a part of that. You guys, I hope you feel good about yourself. Just a bunch of low life losers. Seeing changes, I've been happy. I know you guys have been seeing changes. And when it comes to Catherine, I can't really speak on her too much. Um, but I'll be honest, I do follow her on Snapchat, and last night I saw that she went out, and she went out with some friends. Um, okay. And I starts to think to myself, like, should I start going out with my friends? You don't have any friends, Austin. Nobody likes you, dude. Um, I, don't t- I don't know, like, maybe I should start going out with my friends. Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions on where I could go, what I can do. There's any nice restaurants I can go to, please. I thought you needed a job to get a house. You didn't go to nice restaurants? That's weird. Comment them below. Um, maybe it'd be good for me to start getting out, you know? Even though I'm focused on myself, mm. maybe I should, you know, just start enjoying life, right? Like, that's what life's about, is enjoying life. You gotta enjoy life. Does anybody believe this guy? Anybody? The coolest. Um, you never know when your time is up, and I'm a big believer in that. So, maybe I start going out. Guys, let me know what you guys think below and give me some suggestions on where I should go. Um, really appreciate it. All right, guys, back to the bus. So he then posts a picture of, like, does anybody know a restaurant? This is her posting. These people have children. These poor children. And that's, like, the one thing not a lot of people are talking about. Like, if these guys truly are going through this super public breakup, he's basically stalking. The, his children's mom after she doesn't want him around because she admittedly says so and I don't know if it's a lie or not but my gut says it is but like that's their dad saying where's this restaurant like he wants to go there because she went there this is crazy okay now oh, where is it as we made it we made it he's such a dude <laughs> like the, dis- the douchiness you just need a shower after watching this guy. yes oh oh mini cardio session Where is it? You know what time it comes? These guys have never taken a bus in their life. 12 We got like three minutes left. <sighs> bus stop here at Chick fil A? Nah, I can't do it. I gotta save money, y'all. I can't do it. Guys, we're in $10,000 earrings. <sighs> we'll just sit here and wait until the bus gets here. It's a dad. And it's like, I can understand if you're doing parodies, trying to do like things that are going viral and you want to do your own funny videos. This isn't funny. That's just the thing. It's not, it's not funny at all. He's trying to make you believe it. He's not being, this isn't like in jest he's doing this. He's actually trying to convince you that this is what he's going through, that this is who he really is. And y'all fall for it. And it's freaking ridiculous. He's such a bad actor. I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think that's how it works. I use 
the bus often? Yeah. Talk to people. Imagine a guy with the with the chin pubes like that and a freaking fluffy ass watermelon hat says something to you. I'd be like, don't talk to me. Thanks though. Maybe ten minutes. Why so late? Why is it late? Is it always late? You're disgusting. Late? Yeah, it's late. We're, we were on time, but it came late. Oh, the weekend is coming late. They coming or what? Not coming? They're not gonna come today? Yeah, I'm coming. Oh, oh, shh. Late. It's late. It's late. We gotta talk to the bus driver, huh? <sighs> nah, we gotta have a serious talk with him. We can't, we can't be late. We got places to go, right? We got places to go. People to see. Where are you gonna go? Yeah. You take it like spurts, because this guy is a spurt. He's he's the spurt that sh shouldn't have survived the swim, you know what I mean? Where are you going? Yeah. Sort of. okay. All those sperms. And this is the one that made it. <laughs> Fate. Okay. I have to go to Ross. Ross. <laughs> yeah. So is he pretending to go to Ross? I don't know. That I'd Department store, I guess, or something like that. So he's got like he's now one of the regulars. He's one of us. He's a pleb. He's a poor. So now he goes to Ross to shop with his probably that hat probably five hundred dollars. I'm not kidding. The coat's probably thousands of dollars. So like, I get, like when it's all revealed, it was just fake, everybody. Hey, family, we were faked it all. Reviews. Like who's gonna <laughs> like to what end? What do you think that's gonna? How we think it's gonna end up that as? People are going to be like, oh, you got us, Austin. Another scam. Do you want any fries? No, thank you. Is it? Okay. Did you take a French fry from this guy? They're really good. Like, like taking a drink from Cosby. Really good. They're taking really long. Oh my gosh. Can we get through this or what? Right here. What up, bros? What up, bros? What up, gang? What up? See? These are the kids. And if you need a proof that he's being followed by children, do you need any more? And this is, the, this is who he is, how he acts. Being followed by teenage children. Shame on those parents. So these kids on the internet. Hey, guys, you can't make me late to my bus. My bus is coming. Hey, say what's up, say what's up. What up, guys? Yo. We outside! Austin, hey. I'm on the bus. Hey. 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 What up, what up? Hey. 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 Hey.
I'm that was my tire for my dance class today. Excuse me? I'm here uh, for a fitting. Yeah, they said I had an appointment for a fitting because I have to get my attire for my dance class today. Yeah, can you call some? I guess the loser. I have to find clothes for my dance class today. All right, Snapchat fam. So as you guys know, I have a lot of dreams and ambitions for this year, 2024. Um, one of them I've already talked to you guys about. And it's obvious, it's so obvious to me too that I'm not gonna keep watching this shit. But it's so obvious to me too that it's like all this happened in 2024 when it's like the new year to do something and they're like, oh let's get divorced first and uh, happy new year divorce. It's all fake. It's all fake, it's always has been. And okay. people who watch this are stupid. I'm dumb. I feel dumber for watching it too. See look, there's his uh Separate, desperate for views and money. I got kicked out. He didn't get kicked out. And he's not even there. It's not, it's such, oh, I hate the lies. So this is what Catherine says about the whole situation. And I, I would really appreciate it if you guys would see us as two individuals. And whatever he does is whatever he's doing. And whatever I'm doing is whatever I'm doing. And um, I think that, that. See, and see, people are falling for this. She does not want to be associated with him at all. Now, maybe they are just doing something and uh, it's, Clearly, they have the same type of management. They know how to make their money online. And, like, these people have children. Like, and it doesn't even seem like they're doing anything about it. Like, look at this. Does she think we truly believe this is happening? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, a Trisha Paytas little person in the bed here. It, like, there's kids involved in this whole situation. And so, when we when you guys watch this stuff, and I know I'm covering it just because it's what I do. I cover child exploiters. Um, you feed this. You actually enable this. And so, just... Nothing, Austin McBroom and Catherine. They're both trashy assholes. Stop enabling them. Because when you enable them, when you see those kids, those teenagers, and like, yo, shut up, those kids idolize him. What is there to idolize about Austin McBroom? What has he achieved? I know fame and money is an achievement to a lot of people, and it is an achievement to some degree. But how did he achieve it? And like, why would you want your child to look up to someone like him? Who's going out in front of making in, in, out, out in public and making fun of people who work at Aldi and work at Ross and making and doing what for what to what end? What has he achieved? What has he brought to this world that has made the world a better place? What has any family vlogger brought to this world that's made it a better place? Nothing. In fact, they make it a worse place, especially for the children that are in their content. They are net negatives for the world at large. All family vloggers. These two are way more net negatives to everything because they're just leeches. They just suck the goodness out of life because they're just terrible ass hats who wear terrible ass hats. They're gross. Stop watching them. Austin McBroom is faking this. Guys, it's not real. Stop watching it. Stop falling for this garbage. There are more important things to worry about. Okay? Please stop watching it. Please. Everybody take a deep breath. And if you have a hat like that, really what for don't thanks for being here guys thanks for being for a short video like this and again and when it all comes to fruition and we realize oh it's been fake <laughs> you heard it here first and i said this years ago on this channel that they weren't even together anyway it was a business transaction relationship and i was right about that too so my gut is generally not all the time okay but my gut's right on this and it's because the acting is bad on both ends even Catherine, they're all faking it it's all lies it's all disgusting Go get off the internet, parent your children, love your children, protect your children. Okay, and I'll see you guys when I see you.